G'day guys, welcome back to Rides for Days. Uh, in this series of videos where I'm blacking out the sport glide. In the last couple of episodes you would have seen me uh, install black heat shields in the bike and also a black primary cover. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be removing the header pipes from the sport glide and the muffler obviously. Um, and then to make way for installing the transmission cover and the cam cover. <clears throat> Sort of doing it a bit back to front because I've already um, installed the black heat shields on the bike but now I'm going to be removing the pipes all together so I can actually access the transmission cover and the cam cover. I'm also trying not to paint over any original parts on the bike. I'm trying to replace them all with black, black parts and genuine Harley Davidson parts each time. Uh, the only thing that's not going to work in relation to that is the fender supports for the rear fender. Um, by all accounts, you can't actually buy that in black, so um, I'm going to have to actually get that painted. Um, so that's okay. Um, down the track, if I needed to, I could, you know, purchase a chrome uh, fender support and reinstall that in the bike if I needed to or if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. So, so far it's coming along good. Look, listen, this is just me doing this to the bike. It's um, not me telling you how to do it. It's me, this is me and how I'm doing it. And then you might pick up some tips and tricks along the way and watch how I do it and, and think that that might be a good way of doing it. But um, I by, by no means am any kind of an expert at all and I'm literally just learning this as we go. So um, yeah, but it's been a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying it. All right, let's get down to the bike and let's take a look at the pipes that we're going to remove. Righto guys, so we're down at the bike and our mission for the day today is to <clears throat> remove the black heat shields and remove the header pipe and the muffler from the bike which will then give us access to the transmission cover and the cam cover. Um, so I've never removed the um, header pipes before from the motorbike so it's going to be a challenge but um, I'm relishing the challenge and uh, I'm relishing the challenge at this stage anyway. Um, so these are the two parts that we're going to be swapping out and but in today's video we're just doing the transmission cover which is right here. So we have genuine Harley Davidson transmission cover. We have a gasket. Um, I'm not sure if you need to replace the gasket every time but um, I'm not going to take any chances with it for the sake of... I'll put the prices up of everything that cost me today. I'm not sure exactly what the gasket was. I think it was like 20 odd dollars or something. It wasn't too bad. I'll put the price up for this as well. And these are two gaskets for the, um, the header pipe where the header pipe, where the header pipe sorry, joins the motor. Uh, it's got a thin side and a thick side. And by all accounts, it just fits in one way and sits very snugly. They were about $12.50 or $15 each. So for the sake of, you know, $30, um, you're definitely gonna to wanna to replace them as well. You don't want any exhaust leak. So, um, but yeah, that's about it guys. All right, let's get to the pipes and let's get these uh, black heat shields off. Alright guys, just to show you real quick, we've got a 318 hex head piece, hex head bolt or whatever there, and another one in there, and then, so let's get that off, and then we've got another, like a hose clamp around there that we've got to remove as well, and then we should be able to get the muffler off. Also underneath here guys, got a uh, 9 16 socket, so just pop it under there like so, I'll give you a quick look. So 9 16th, let's screw that off and that's just holding the muffler really to the header pipe. 
Once I get that off, then I should be right to pull the muffler off. That's the muffler. Right here, guys. Um, it's actually the next day. Um, I've spent the last couple of hours deliberating over what to do <clears throat> to get the header pipe off. And um, I had to go to Bunnings um, as well. I had to get some spray paint. Um, so I just wanted to figure out what I was going to do with the pipes and how I was going to get them off before we actually went ahead and did it. Um, I haven't done anything yet. Um, I did go and buy this high temp, uh, white knight high temp black paint. <clears throat> and the reason I bought that is I'm going to, when I take the transmission and cam covers off, I just want to black out the, um, the screws. I think that'll look quite nice. Um, I didn't do that with the primary cover. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but I think it would have been a nice touch if I had done that. Um, I'm not sure if I can really be bothered to take the cam, uh, the primary cover off again because then I don't know whether or not I'm going to have to change the gasket again. Um, but anyway, that's that so far. So I've spent the last couple of hours just deliberating as to what I've got to do and I think I've got it pretty well worked out now. Um, I didn't want to muck around with the camera on, I just wanted to figure it out and then come back to you. So, <clears throat> in order to get the header pipe off we've got to do two things obviously we've got to unbolt the header pipes from the engine we've also got to remove the o2 sensors which are attached to the pipe as well and there's two ways of doing that so the first o2 sensor is located I'll just show you there and it's a plug and play thing if you follow the wire down a bit hard for me to show you but down here and I'll show you when I unplug it there's a plug down there and then this there's an O2 sensor can't really see it the leads there that's the O2 sensor for the for that pipe for the second pipe and it plugs in over here so you've got to unplug those two first so I'm going to unplug them from here rather than um, unscrewing them from the pipe as you can see there's a there's you can unscrew it from the pipe but I don't want to do that um, I just want to leave that attached to the pipe as it is just unplug them I think that'll be easier now the second thing we've got to do as I said we've got to unscrew the header pipes from the engine now there's a bolt two bolts either side of the header pipe there one there I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not and then another one in behind there and that one's pretty easy this one was going to be probably harder um, there's where my finger is there's a there's a there's a bolt in there and then behind the oil cooler just above my finger there there's a bolt you can see that bolt there that was proving the hardest of, of all to get it because of the frame and the oil cooler so what I did was I unscrewed the cover from the oil cooler which is just basically a screw down here took the oil cooler off unscrewed the bolt out of here and then I lifted up the oil cooler out of its hand mount so that I could sort of jiggle you can see what I'm doing there I'm jiggling the oil cooler and loosening it and then I was able to get and well, I will be able to get the um, wrench in between this and the frame in order to get that nut out there that's the awkward part so that's what i'm doing i'm just loosening the oil cooler so i can get at that bolt in there any other way it's too hard you just can't get at it and you can't get a bite the wrench that i'm using i've got it's a quarter inch drive i don't know whether or not there's um half inch sockets for a quarter inch drive out there but i couldn't i haven't got one so I've got a half inch drive, sorry, a half inch socket that's designed for a three eighth inch drive. So I've got myself a little adapter. It's um, 
three eighths of an inch, one end, quarter inch dry of the other. So that goes onto the wrench, and then that goes onto the adapter like so. And then we get the, um, we undo the bolts. So that's the story so far. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to undo the O2 sensors from the bike, and then we'll start unbolting the pipes from the bike as well. Right here guys, um, just proving a little bit awkward. So I've just taken the seat off just to try and make life a bit easier. All right. So what I did, I've unplugged it. So it's just a matter of unplugging it like that. Other half goes in there, the other, the other end of it. All fairly straightforward. All right, let's get the other one off. All right, it's proving way too difficult um, to unplug it from underneath. It's just really awkward to get to. Um, that side was easier, but this, this side is too hard, so I'm actually just going to unscrew it from the header pipe, which probably might have been easier this whole time, but um, anyway, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna unscrew it from there. That's what the O2 sensor looks like. Just gonna keep it like that, I don't wanna get it dirty. One of the reasons why I didn't wanna take it out, I wanted to keep it in there. But um, I just have to do what I have to do because I can't get the other end of it, so. All good, all right, let's tackle the bolts on the header pipe. All right, so that's all the bolts off the header pipe. It's the O2 sensors um, disconnected. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm just gonna put a little mark where the header pipe joins the flange on both sides. You're not gonna see it and the heat shields would cover it up anyway, but it's just gonna let me know that I've um, sort of shoved the exhaust pipe back in enough when I've finished, when I'm reconnecting the pipe to the engine. Um, I've never done this before. And I just want to make sure that at least if I put the um, pipes back in and it goes right up to that little mark that I've made with this on both ends, at least I've no, I know I've put it back in to the depth that it was in um, before I took it off, if that makes any sense. There we go. All right. Exhaust off the motorbike. That is how you take an exhaust off a 2019 Sport Glide. Woo.